Hey guys, welcome back to Shiba Inu Crypto. I just sold all my SHIB tokens and here's why. Shiba Inu news today. Shiba Inu has outperformed the NASDAQ 100 index despite the persistent FUD campaign targeted at the asset. All recent FUD campaigns like Shibarium copying other codes and BitBoy threatening to reveal Shiba Inu's lead developer identity were in vain as SHIB keeps gaining momentum. Leveraging the buzz surrounding Shibarium and an uptick in bullish sentiments, the asset has appreciated over 33% from its opening price in 2023. In this video, we will talk about I just sold all my SHIB tokens and here's why. Shiba Inu news today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content on Shiba Inu price predictions and expert analysis. Without further ado, let's begin the video. Shiba Inu has registered more than double the percentage of gains witnessed by the NASDAQ 100. With a current price of $0.00001084, SHIB has appreciated by 33.6% from the value of $0.00008087 it started this year. These massive gains have defined the recurrent FUD that had created a rift in the Shiba Inu camp. The asset's bullish run this year has been fueled by a myriad of factors, including the excitement surrounding Shibarium, an uptick in bullish sentiments and the broader market-wide rallies that have been observed in the crypto space on a periodic basis. Amid one of the rallies, SHIB surged to a six-month high of $0.00001521 on February 5th, before facing a correction that bartered it to a low of $0.00001195 five days later. The assets staged a recovery, but a lack of support from the bulls resulted in a steep decline, ultimately leading to a price of $0.00009728 earlier this month. Another recovery campaign has ensued as the asset looks to reclaim the local top above $0.00015. The Shibarium FUD, which served as a hindrance to this campaign, was recently resolved. SHIB has gained by 5% in the past 24 hours, currently targeting $0.00011 in the short term. As on-chain data shows, Voyager Digital has begun cashing out US dollars that have been flushed into the bankrupt crypto lenders' coffers by selling Shiba Inu, Ether, and Voyager token. Last month, $610 million worth of USDC was sent to two different addresses belonging to Voyager. Of those, Voyager has now sent USDC worth $150 million to Circle to eventually redeem for US dollars, according to on-chain analytics service Look on Chain. The transfer comes after Voyager sales have been quieter over the past three weeks. Crypto intelligence service Arkham added in a tweet today that Voyager has begun cashing out its USDC and Fiat, redeeming $150 million through Circle service. The funds have been transferred to Circle but have not yet been burned. That day, Coinbase also transferred $150 million of USDC to Circle, presumably for withdrawal. Citing data from Dune Analytics, Tom Wan, research analyst at 21Co, the parent company of 21 shares, noted that Voyager has been selling its assets since February. They have received 606 million USDC in the last five weeks. This leaves Voyager holding about $546 million USDC. However, their holdings of altcoins such as Shiba Inu and Ethereum are still significant. As Arkham reported before the pause in Voyager transactions on March 10th, the bankrupt crypto lenders' addresses still hold $151.22 million in ETH, $49.53 million in VGX, and $41.4 million in Shiba Inu. Since starting its liquidation process of all crypto assets, Voyager has sent a list of 50 different crypto assets to exchanges, according to Arkham. The largest were ETH $181.74 million, SHIB $67.54 million, and VGX $28.82 million. The latest transfers of Voyager must also be viewed in light of Binance.us's acquisition of the assets, which has once again been put on hold. Although bankruptcy judge Michael Wills has given the go-ahead for the $1.3 billion takeover of the assets, the tug-of-war over the deal continues. The renewed suspension of the deal by the U.S. federal court is intended to give the U.S. government more time to review the legality of the deal. 
U.S. District Judge Jennifer Reardon justified the move. The move comes after Binance was sued by the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission in a separate lawsuit on Monday. At press time, the Shiba Inu price was trading at $0.00001076, trying another breakout attempt from the downtrend that had persisted since early February. The $0.00001122 mark will be crucial to confirm the breakout. Although SHIB's price movement hasn't kept investors happy, there's a strong accumulation by the whales. Over the last month, the total number of addresses holding over a trillion SHIB has increased by 5% and is now at 42. Besides, there's also growth in the number of addresses holding between 1 million and 10 million SHIB tokens. The accumulation of SHIB by these whale addresses could signal a price rally. From a market perspective, the growth in the number of Shiba Inu trillionaires can be interpreted in several ways. This could suggest the growing interest in the meme coin and its potential for growth. With the price drop in the SHIB over the last couple of weeks, the burn rate for the SHIB cryptocurrency has been on a major decline. The dedicated Twitter handle SHIBBURN, which tracks the burn rate of Shiba Inu cryptocurrency, has recently updated on the massive decline in the burn rate. As per the latest update, the SHIB burn rate has dropped by nearly 100%, whereas over the past 7 days, it has declined by nearly 50%. The Shiba Inu community has been eagerly awaiting for the launch of the Layer 2 scalability platform Shibarium. Shitoshi Kuzama, the lead developer of Shiba Inu, has faced major accusations as several launch delays have increased the doubts over the ecosystem. However, Shitoshi Kuzama has reassured investors regarding the Shibarium launch, thereby boosting some confidence within the Shiba Inu community. In the latest development, Shiba Inu's pseudonymous lead developer Shitoshi Kuzama has revealed a growing interest in Shibarium among validators. Shiba Inu developer at Sunshine Shib recently shared a screenshot from Kuzama wherein he notes that more than 500 developers have shown interest in Shibarium. The lead developer said most validators had been invited to use the Shibarium beta testnet. Kuzama believes that giving validators early access to the protocol will help them decide ahead of the official launch of Shibarium. Kuzama said, that's why most validators have received an email asking them to use the testnet beta to help them decide if this is what they want to do. I might have missed a few people who might have been tagged incorrectly, but last I checked, there were 500 interested validators. Once Shibarium launches, these validators will be responsible for verifying the validity of transactions within the network. One silver lining of SHIB's recent losses is that its indicators are now in a promising position in that they point to a recovery rally. For one, the coin's relative strength index is nearing 50 after being in an oversold position as recently as early March. In a new development, Shiba Inu is moving into the Portuguese market. An NFT marketplace, Tokapi, has announced adopting SHIB for exclusive NFT transactions through BitPay. Portugal-based NFT marketplace, Tokapi, is partnering with one of the prominent crypto payment processors, BitPay. The NFT marketplace has included Shiba Inu among the popular crypto payment options besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. This means that customers on the Tokapi platform can purchase NFTs with SHIB through BitPay services. The collaboration with BitPay aligns with Tokapi's plans to expand cryptocurrency payment options. Also, it provides NFT collectors and enthusiasts with more flexible options for purchasing NFTs. With the newest edition, Tokapi now has 16 crypto assets as payment options on its platform. Tokapi is an NFT marketplace headquartered in Lisbon, Portugal. It offers a user-friendly platform to buy and sell digital collectibles. The marketplace covers music, digital art, clothing, and real estate. Additionally, the NFT marketplace announced the availability of Sheer Light's exclusive NFT edition by Ronald Kwong the famous LA-based illustrator and animator. Tokapi stated that customers could only purchase the NFT collection exclusively using Ethereum. Also, Kwong's two other popular NFT editions, Mirage and Hunters in the Snow, are available on Tokapi platform. The prominent KHM's architecture inspired Mirage, while Peter Bruegel's original work inspired the latter. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.